let's talk about tr trigonometry. Trigonometry is the relationship that the ratio of side lengths has to um, angles within a right triangle. So you'll notice here we have this triangle and it's marked right here with this funny looking zero with a line through it. Well, that's not a zero with a line through it. That's the Greek letter theta. And it's a very common letter used to uh, reference an angle in a right triangle. Now, there are three ratios that that angle is related to within that right triangle. Now, one thing I will point out is that you'll always be referencing an acute angle in a right triangle, never the right angle. You know the right angle is 90 degrees, nothing to learn there. If we look at the acute angle, the three ratios are called sine, cosine, and tangent. I know it might be tempting to look at your calculator and read sin, cos, tan, um, but let's be real. It's just mathematicians being too lazy to write whole words. The words are sine, cosine, tangent. Now, there's a nice mnemonic device that we will teach you, a nice math word which is called Sokatoa. Sokatoa is a mnemonic device to help you to remember which sides each trig function is related to. So, it's talking about the opposite and the hypotenuse. Well, that means opposite over hypotenuse. There we go, and that's what we see in this ratio. Ka, adjacent over hypotenuse. What we see right here. Toa, opposite over adjacent, which is what we see right here. Now, if you're wondering what determines opposite, what determines adjacent, what determines hypotenuse, it is the relationship that that side has with the angle you're talking about, not so much the location. So you'll notice that we have rotated this triangle in many ways. But because the reference angle is opposite this side, no matter where that side is, that's still opposite the reference angle. Because the adjacent side is still touching the reference angle, the adjacent side is still adjacent. And the hypotenuse is always across from the right angle, so that remains consistent. Let's set up a couple of trig ratios. Let's say I'm looking at this picture. Now, I just told you a mnemonic device. We're going to write it down. So, ah, oh. And we're going to use that to fill in the sine, cosine, and tangent for angle B. Now, because it's telling you angle B, that means that this is your reference angle. Now, because this is across from your right angle, this is your hypotenuse. Because this is across from your reference angle, this is your opposite, leaving this side right next to your reference angle to be adjacent. Okay, sine. So, is opposite over hypotenuse. Well, opposite, we just said, is 24 and hypotenuse is 26. So the sine of B is equal to 24 over 26. Cosine, ka. So that's adjacent over hypotenuse. Well, adjacent is 10, and hypotenuse is 26. Then finally, we have tangent, toa. So that is opposite, which is 24 over adjacent, which is 10. These are the trig functions for the sine of B. Now let's look at that same triangle, but now we're going to find the trig functions for A. So we have a new reference angle, which means all of our ratios are going to change. Again, I'm going to write down so ka So 
let's talk about angle A. Well, across from the right angle, this still stays the hypotenuse. That doesn't change. However, now across from angle A, our new opposite side is 10 and adjacent to angle A is 24. Okay, so let's do sine of A first. So opposite, which is 10 over hypotenuse, which is 26. Ka, which is adjacent 24 over the hypotenuse, which is 26. All right, lastly, toa, opposite, which is 10 over adjacent, which is 24. So that's the sine, cosine, and tangent for the angle A. So let's look at this triangle. We'll do A first, then we'll do B. Um, so for A, I know this is my hypotenuse. For B, this is adjacent. For, C, for sorry, for A, this is adjacent. And for A, this is opposite. Across from the right angle is hypotenuse always, across from your angle is opposite, and across and next to your angle is adjacent. So let me write down my Sokatoa for myself. So ah, toa. Sine of A is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So eight over my hypotenuse, which is 10. Ka, that's adjacent over hypotenuse, that's 6 over 10. And then toa, that's opposite over adjacent, so that's 8 over 6. Okay, so that's how the sine, cosine, and tangent for angle A are going to work. Let's go ahead and look at angle B. So for angle B, well, still across from the right angle, this is still our hypotenuse, so that doesn't change. However, this side, which used to be opposite angle A, is now adjacent to angle B. And if we look at what is opposite angle B, that's this side. So let's talk, start with sine. So, which is opposite over hypotenuse, so 6 over 10. Ka, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, so 8 over 10. Toa, which is opposite over adjacent, which is 6 over 8. So we'll notice here on the same triangle, if we're talking about different angles, we get different ratios. So we need to pay attention to angles and let those be our guide.